Have you ever felt that gut-wrenching anxiety when you realize you have to confront someone about their performance? If you click on this video, chances are you are dodging a crucial conversation. I have been a leader for over seven years, navigating numerous difficult conversations. Today, I'm sharing tools and tips that will transform your dread into confidence. By the end of this video, you will be eager to tackle that conversation head on. Let's dive in. Imagine you need to tell a developer they are not meeting expectations. Seems daunting, right? But what if I told you that there is a way to make this conversation not just manageable, but smooth and constructive? You need just three key elements. Let's begin. You must have a specific example to avoid confusion. Picture this. The developer frequently asks for help, relying heavily on me, with no noticeable progress towards independence. I'm constantly repeating the same explanations. With the example, I'm providing step one, clarity. Pause, take a breath. Ask the developer for their thoughts. Do they see the same issues? Let's move on. With the problem identified, it's time to be precise. For instance, I expect the developer to grow more autonomously, making decisions and changes without needing constant oversight. They should grasp problems, conduct research, collaborate and present solutions where they have done 80% of the work independently. What I just did is step two, provide expectations. Here we pause again. This is their chance to ask questions and for you to provide clarification. Now the final step. This is the glue that holds everything together. Propose weekly 30 minutes check-in, but here's the twist. Let them take the ownership. They must find the time in your schedule and set up the meetings. This commitment ensures they are engaged in their growth and improvement. That final step is called follow-up. If you found this video useful, I'm sure these five tips will help you as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.